things you need to know before you come down to the pyramids of Giza. I've been living in Egypt for over a year now. I've been down to the pyramids several times. I think that this is useful information everyone should know before coming down here. When do the pyramids open? How much are the pyramids? Are there bathrooms down here? Water, sunscreen, dress appropriately. Lastly, of course, what everyone talks about, the touts, the vendors, the camel rides, people harassing you. Most people are gonna try to charge you a lot more, especially in the beginning. This is what I've been offered in the past and this is what I think a fair price is. The price that you should be paying is around Hello guys! So I've been living in Egypt for over a year now and have been down to the pyramids several times and here are some things that I think that you should know before coming down to the pyramids. The first thing is the pyramids are located in the city of Giza which is just across the Nile from Cairo. So if you're staying in downtown Cairo, say somewhere near Tahrir Square, you can take an Uber down there. If you are planning your own transportation, I would recommend putting in a location such as the Pyramids View Inn or any one of these hotels or the, even the Pizza Hut that is behind me because this is the easiest entrance in my opinion to get into. The entrance where all the buses come in through with tours, there's a lot of construction happening out on the streets uh, right outside the pyramids. And I've taken an Uber several times, just put in the Great Pyramids of Giza, and it takes me on a long detour where you're stuck in traffic, you pass by the pyramids and have to like, go for many miles before you're able to do a U-turn and then return to get close to the pyramids. So I would recommend coming in from the main entrance in front of the Sphinx and putting in one of those hotels. Um, but I'll show you guys the maps and, and some suggestions for where you could put in a location to have the most efficient way to get down here. When do the pyramids open? So the pyramids open around 7 a.m. every day. Um, I think the times can vary a bit depending on the season, but I have come in at 7 in the morning in the past. So around 7 and I would recommend being one of the first people here as it is a lot emptier and gets busier as the day goes on. So prices for the pyramids. How much is it to get into the complex? The complex is the three pyramids and the Sphinx and that ticket is now 240 Guinea. Uh, I did not purchase the ticket to enter inside the pyramids, although I've done that in the past. But I believe that ticket is around 450, 440 Guinea, something like that. So if you do want to go inside the Great Pyramid of Khufu, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. Um, if you just want to walk around outside the pyramids, check out the tombs, that ticket uh, for the complex includes all of that. And that is just 240 Guinea. So another thing that maybe you guys are curious about, are there bathrooms out here? Yes, there are bathrooms. There is a bathroom near both entrances. There's uh, an entrance near the Great Pyramid of Khufu. And there's a bathroom near the main entrance where I came in. And there's also bathrooms outside of the Great Pyramid of Khufu. So there are many bathrooms to use. Although I would use the bathrooms at your hotel, your hostel, wherever you're coming from before, if possible. Um, they do charge you around 10 guinea to use the bathrooms. You may be able to ignore that, but to be polite, I usually just give the five to 10 guinea that they ask for. Another recommendation, especially for ladies, bring your own toilet paper. And that isn't just for the pyramids, that's kind of all over Egypt, because a lot of bathrooms might not have toilet paper, or if they do, it's very little. Sometimes they'll have people at the desk that are charging you to go into the bathroom, they'll give you a little bit, but I always find it best to just carry your own toilet paper on you so that you are prepared. <laughs> so yes, there's bathrooms up here at all the sites, but sometimes they're not as clean, you still have to pay to get in, and it's just easier and better to go at your accommodation if that's possible for you. I would also suggest bringing some water as it is hot out here. They do sell water, but it might be at a jumped up price and it's just better to come prepared. So I would bring your own water. Um, as you can see, it is sunny out. So if you uh, burn easy, maybe bring a hat, bring some sunscreen, something like that. Of course, you can seek shade underneath the pyramids and some of the rocks out here, but it is hot, especially in the summer. Right now it's winter and I'm still getting warm and it's not even 10 a.m. yet. So 
I would recommend bringing water, sunscreen, dress appropriately, maybe wear some comfortable shoes um, where you're not going to have rocks and sand and things like that getting into your, your boots or your, sho or your shoes, I mean. Lastly, of course, what everyone talks about, the touts, the vendors, the camel rides, people harassing you. Yes, there are a lot of people up here trying to sell you things. It's their life, it's their job, and they're very persistent. <laughs> so a way that you could kind of get them to... Well, there's not really a way to get rid of them, you know. I just say shukran katir, which means thank you very much, and just put my hand over my heart, a smile, keep walking. Hey. Oh, shukran. Shukran. <laughs> yeah. Shwaya. From where? America. Oh, America. America forever. Welcome to Alaska. <laughs> shukran katir. Nice Alaska, halwa gidden. Ma salama. Oh, la la la. I'm on a No, my fish is not a Shukran katir. Shukran katir. I can't afford the phone. Aywa. Ma salama. From this side, this is the power. Oh, I'm not orpha. Oh, oh, oh. I will help you then. Look around. But you're going to have a lot of guys stopping you, wanting to take your photo, charge you for a photo to stand at the corner of the pyramid, or selling you souvenirs, trinkets. Hey, would you like a photo? Do this with the pyramid. Then they ask you for money, or take a photo with my camel, and then ask you for money. Or would you like a camel ride, or a carriage ride, a horseback ride? Um, I have actually never done any of those things. I don't need someone to take a photo or I'll ask a foreigner to take a photo or a tourist to take a photo of me if I do want a photo because I don't want to uh, pay money for a photo. And I don't typically take a lot of photos of myself. Anyhow, so that happens out here. It's just a part of a, a tourist site anywhere around the world, especially here in Egypt. <laughs> so, but you can just ignore them, be polite, keep walking. And if you are planning on taking a camel ride or a horseback ride, usually the, the camel rides will be about an hour long ride and it'll take you out to the pyramids view, which it just trots out into the desert, gives you a nice, view panorama of the pyramids all lined up with a good distance to get a good shot now, if you are interested in doing that the price should be around 150 to 200 egyptian pounds no more than that this is what i've been offered in the past and this is what i think a fair price is and you could even pay less it depends on the guy how he's done with his sales that day maybe if he hasn't made a lot of sales he will give it to you for 100 guinea that's possible maybe even less it depends on how good your bartering skills are but i definitely wouldn't be paying more than 150 to 200. Most people are going to try to charge you a lot more, especially in the beginning. I have heard of people paying 300, 400, even 600, which is pretty crazy. I just spoke with a guy who told me it was 500 for foreigners. 500 for an hour. Yeah, Rogel? Oh, And he said that's the government decree, and there's a poster on the wall. Who put these up? <laughs> it's a government. <laughs> no. <laughs> Promise you, sure. Government. You don't believe? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I don't believe a lot of things. <laughs> so it looks like a real fresh poster. The, the, the Egyptian price for 200. Uh -huh. This is the new price, you know, from, I told you from about one month ago, uh -huh. 350 for one hour. Yeah, yeah, because I've been offered 150 before. This many years ago. No, no, I've only been here one year. <laughs> no, no, because you don't... Uh, this <laughs> and I, I mean, I looked at the poster, but that means nothing to me. I, you could, I could go stick that poster up on the wall. <laughs> So, yeah, the price that you should be paying is around 150 to 200. If you're feeling generous, feel free to tip, but I would definitely barter because it's likely they're asking for more. If you do want to negotiate with the prices of camel tours, or really anything, this goes for any type of bartering in a market, anywhere around the world, not just in Egypt, India, whatever. A lot of times if you start feign walking away, they will give you a price that you were initially asking for. So, yeah, but I think that just comes with experience and bartering and knowing <laughs> how, how much you can push, push the price and have it still be fair, you know, because these are prices that Egyptians are paying. They're just asking for more because you're a foreigner. So anyways, all right, guys, so that is the information, advice, tips on what to bring and what to know before coming down to the pyramids. I have a lot of other videos about Egypt, so if you're curious to have more information before your trip, check those out. Thank you so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, help the channel grow so I can reach more people. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Enjoy the pyramids. Welcome back. <laughs> Shukran. <laughs>